previously on Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. Uh-uh, it's not mine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. And now back to getting my mind fucked. Hello! The Sneako B, back with some more Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. When we last left off, we were reintroduced to some of our fa favorite classic characters as well as a few new ones, like this kid with a giant helmet <laughs> and what will probably end up being a serial killer. We're also set to kill each other in another game of life and death, except with uh, a different zero this time. And I'm, I've sort of thought about it. I, I'm thinking may maybe what if the, the zero this time is uh, brother or something, because like maybe this is meant to be like a test because isn't he he released the radical six on humanity because he felt like the human race needed to be like cleansed essentially or purged so maybe this is like his way of of testing it i don't know see if like if we all fucking kill each other in this game i guess i i, I don't know that's just a, just my theory i feel like it's got to be somebody who's who we've talked about at some point though right Otherwise, it won't have the same impact. It's just some random dude. Anyway, so we've uh, played through C teams and D teams uh, scenarios where they've made the vote. Now let's check out Q team. God, a number of you guys said you've already beaten the game in its entirety. Freaking seriously? Good lord. Did you remember to have time to eat and breathe? I mean, granted, it's been a few days now, but it was. So you guys were saying that, like, I swear less than a day after this game had been released. Like, holy crap. <laughs> I did, I have had a number of you guys tell me though that this game is a bit shorter than the uh, Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward was. So it probably won't take me quite as long to get through it, which is probably good. I, Virtue's Last Reward went on for a really long time. That was one of my, one of my longest series actually. How many, it's like, it was like in the 40s, I think. It was, it was a long, long game. But yeah, so this was not, supposed to be not quite as long. But according to everybody in the comments who, who've been talking about it, uh, I've been saying that there's a lot of real mind fucky shit in here, so good. That's exactly what I've been waiting for. <laughs> That's to be expected, I suppose. All right, jump to the new characters so we learn a little more about them. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing it's got to be Quark, right? But I, I, again, I just this seems like it'd be too obvious. The kid in the helmet. We've all got a prep room and a DK in decon room too. Quantum 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 computer dome. <laughs> what in the hell? Pod room. Is that which looks like it had games of tic tac toe on the walls? Biolab. This is weird. There should be another room around here somewhere. Uh, let me see it. Shut up. He's got the right to see it too. Mira. Thank you. Me. God, Bernie. Bernie is sleeping right now next to me in her crate, and she, God, she is snoring so loud today. I, I know the the, the bulldogs, the ones that the, you know, the flat face kind of dogs, they tend to snore a lot. But God dang, she is. It really kind of depends on what angle she's sitting at. Oh, did she wake up? <laughs> just ever so briefly, and now she's sleeping again. I'm hoping the recording's not picking that up, but it's just like, it's like, <laughs> it's really, it is quite loud. Ooh. Poor sleepy Bernie. It's pretty pointless to hang out here, kicking our heels. Let's go back to the lounge. Good Lord, she's letting that, letting it all hang out, isn't she? Gotta let the gotta let the girls breathe, baby. Let's inhibit the virus. Maybe someone's gonna remove or control some kind of virus. Hmm. So are, are all these gonna end up being some kind of anagram then? Oh. Virus? What virus? <laughs> uh. Um, about the vote. What will we do? Don't ask me. But if we don't do it. Doesn't that mean we'll die? Yeah. Even if C team voted for D team and D team did the reverse, if we refuse, then we get two votes against us automatically. And Q team would be killed. I suppose. And Q team is us! Ah! <laughs> suppose that's true if this game is for real. So you're saying it's a joke? Don't you think that would make a whole lot more sense? 
the decom staff will probably pop through that door over there yelling surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. You're right. <laughs> this guy seems like a total fucking tool. I don't know. He's just like, like agreeing with everything she says. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. You're so right. Wow. Yeah, that wouldn't be a joke going way too far at all. Then him being here makes sense now. I bet that means you're part of the whole surprise. I like how this little helmet is like, has a crack in the middle that's like in, <laughs> in the shape of a little mouth. Mm -hmm. No. Come on. Take off that helmet. I can't. Huh? I said I can't take it off. Damn, brat. Stop bullshitting me. Uh, stop. <laughs> stop. You'll break my neck. Die. God dang, dude. <laughs> really on there wait I see something on the side of this thing oh but oh hello oh uh, it's this shit again wait is it, is that, that's what how case came off too right was there was there a code or something on the no it was a it was like a key it was actually a keyhole on the back isn't it a password input I think does that mean the helmet comes off with the right numbers or maybe his head will explode uh. <laughs> wow, nice lady. Oh, really? Who are you? I don't know. I don't remember. I woke up and I was here. Are you saying you have amnesia? You have Kate syndrome. Oh. Um, maybe. I like how in all these games too, whenever there's like a, someone with just really overtly sexual clothing on like that, it's like, we don't comment on it, we don't comment on it at all. Nobody says anything like, what in the hell are you wearing? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, why? Can I catch you working the streets or something? Good God. She actually honestly looks like she could be a prostitute. Could I ask you something? What? Okay. I start with this one. What is your relationship? Mira, Eric, what's going on between you two? Going on? Uh, uh, well. Are you in love? Idiot! No, uh, we're not. We're not? Uh, well, well, we're not. Not, but. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Wait, so did it. Have they, do they know each other already outside of this place, or was it... Or are they saying they're, like, hooking up in, like, the short time we've been here? I was wondering, um, who is Zero? Oh, come on! Stop playing! You know everything, don't you? I told you, I don't... So you're gonna stick with the idea that this isn't some big surprise? I don't know. I don't remember anything. If this isn't a joke, then things are really serious. Then you're saying one of the teams is actually going to be executed? But why would someone do that? Zero said it's a game. So then he's a psychopath. This Zero guy's probably off somewhere enjoying seeing us freak out. He could be that serial killer in the news. That's that heart ripper, yeah? Yeah. Ugh. Rumor is they killed 18 people all in the past few years. March 15th, 2026. The body of a young female was found in a park in Roseville. Oh, what the hell? Wait, oh. That's, is that, the, that, that was the story that Zero was talking about, right? The victim's name was Virginia Bailey, age 28. The chest was ripped open Ooh. and the heart entirely removed. I was really hoping that was, I was like, I, I was like, I have to call him Heart Ripper for the reason I think they're Ooh. calling it him It happened that. again on May 22nd, 2026. The body of a male was found in a trash can near a residence in Sacramento. The victim's name was Jeffrey Foray, age 37. His body was just like Virginia's with the heart completely gouged out. Two months later, wow, you're on like July a, 29th. You're a little hey, encyclopedia, aren't you? Wait a minute. Don't you have amnesia or something? 
Why do you know all this? Yeah, really. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I knew. <laughs> I like memorizing really gruesome details. You gotta be kidding me. I was wondering, where are we? Weren't you listening to Zero earlier? We're 50 meters underground in a bomb shelter. I know that, but where exactly? Uh... I doubt we're very far from DCOM. Uh, DCOM? Dwelling for the cohabitation of Mars. Oh. Is that- that's what that means? Oh, I- I, I thought they meant- I thought DCOM was decontamination. Oh, well, well decom. They're saying decom with an M. Yeah, so that wouldn't be right either. Okay. So it's an experiment to see if we could survive on Mars? Uh-huh. We all lived together in that compound for five days. C team and D team were there too. Oh, and there was a dog. It was incredibly old. I think his name was Gab. I see. Okay, so that's how they that's how they all knew who the dog's name was. Interesting how they didn't show that though. It's not like we didn't start the game there. I'm wondering if there wasn't a reason why. But not you. You weren't there. It's very suspicious. Oh, you wasn't. Okay. Oh, what were they testing for? Psychological data mostly. It was a closed environment for a group of people for an extended period of time. So how would that mess with the subjects mentally? That was what they were trying to investigate. Uh, what made you sign up? <laughs> Tough question. It seemed like it'd be kind of fun, I guess. <laughs> I'm just a kinky girl, you know. Eric? I joined because Mira wanted to. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, so they did, they did know each other before they came here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I only did it because she told me to. Dude, man. Oh, she caught you right by your fucking gonads, bro. That's it? Well, maybe not entirely. No, that's it. <laughs> I'm so pathetic. <laughs> if you weren't. I would you know totally give you the Larry voice if, I, if he wasn't voice acted already. I need to figure something out for a while. What is this thing? Maybe it's a gift from Zero. Uh, so what, you think there's assorted teas inside? Gifts don't have to be a good thing, do they? Hey, what the hell? Stop! What if it's some kind of bomb? <laughs> <laughs> a bomb? Mm, I don't think it is. Oh, something's on the back. Um... Wait, I thought when didn't Sigma try to pick it, pick his up, and it was just like insanely heavy. But but theirs is actually a lot lighter. Hmm. I think this is upside down. So this would be the front. Force quit box. Guess it stopped something. Look, there's also a keyboard. Looks like you're supposed to input a code of some kind. And if we get it right? Then something will be forced to end? But what? Our lives. Maybe. Your life. Oh, pfft. <laughs> Call that shit. What was that sound? It came from that way. Oh, let's go. Gab? How did you? Me. You came hey, to the vent. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Why don't you go in? Uh, I can't. Just do it, will ya? Oh. See? Cause this stupid- have this stupid thing on your head. I see. Hey, check this out. There's something inside the case. Is that a coaster? Oh, there's something on it. Hello. <laughs> At least I think. I, how can I even see out of this thing? Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. What does this mean? Don't you get it? They're saying to spread the votes. Huh? Spread? I get it. If each team ends up with one vote each, 
The whole thing is a tie, and no team will be executed. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, now we have a plan. Let's do it. Um, but wait. Why should we wait? Well, what if this message hasn't been delivered to D-Team yet? You're right. The position of this vent does imply it only connects to Ward C. I doubt Gab's made his way to Ward D yet. We need to figure out how to notify D-Team then. Hold on a sec. I'll get a pen and cheese. <laughs> at the box. So, so, it's always cheese. I'm actually kind of surprised. I, I don't know. I... Just from the get-go, I thought they I thought this guy would immediately be like, like, they're trying to fucking trick us, they need to die or something. I guess just kind of a go with the flow kind of guy. Right? A pen. And cheese. <laughs> that was a loud pen. That should do it. Go get the cheese, Gab! Go get the cheese! What exactly are you doing? Oh, I get it. If Ward C and Ward Q have connected vents... Then Q and D are probably connected as well. Yep. We just need to take the cheese and... Wow, that was a very... It's all on you, Gab. That was a very heavy piece of cheese. <laughs> Think it'll work? It's like a block of wood. I'm sure it will. Okay, so we vote for C Team C. Got it. Five minutes until the deadline. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. Please. <laughs> All right, based on zero escape versus last reward, Luna never betrayed anybody, and I'm pretty sure the per the person she's based off of wouldn't either. I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C Team is a trap. Trap? They could have written it, but maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q Team instead. Hey, wait a minute now. That's not good. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But... The deadline to vote is in three minutes. The vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Oh, hey, wait! What do you mean, force him to, do, to make it, to make a decision? Time to decide. All right, so let's just go, let's just go with the fucking plan was, all right? I'll be curious to see if, when I do it, if it's gonna, I, I don't know, like, I, I mean, I'm imagining after I've made a decision from everyone, now I'll be able to continue the game. Thank you, please come again. Following the note, huh? Uh, I guess it's fine. It's not like it was a bad choice. Now we wait and see what exactly Carlos and Diana do. And pray we don't this die a painful, work, stupid death. And there are two outcomes that could happen. Either the three and C team die. Or we're the ones executed. No, there's one more possibility. Yeah, it's a joke. Someone is definitely tricking us. So it is you! <laughs> Why would you immediately assume that? 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the crib. When you next wake, those who survive 
of the able to reply to the session. As all members of a single chain will perish as a result of the fall you entered. Pleasant dreams. All right. I think we should all be good now. I think, unless unless it's like, oh. well, congratulations, you tried to game the system. Now you all die. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, holy crap! A whole bunch just opened up. Holy, holy crap! Well, what the fuck? Is that a Kane with a fucking chainsaw? Uh, wow. Okay, a lot of them opened up. Um, is that kid with a chainsaw? <laughs> Every scenario has someone with a chainsaw in it. <laughs> uh, oh man, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting this many to open up. <laughs> I gotta, I'm sorry, I gotta go with the one with the fucking chainsaw. I, I want to know what the fuck that's all about. Crazy Akane. <laughs> what the fuck, Akane? What are you doing? Here's Kenny. Oh, damn it, Akane. Suspicion. Okay. This is the pantry. Oh, hey Carlos, where's Junpei? No idea. He was already gone when I woke up. It's locked. Wait, did Junpei do this? You think he woke up first and then locked us in? It's been a long time since you've seen each other, right? Maybe now he's Zero's accomplice. That's not possible. The Junpei I know would never do something like that to us. You, know, you guys gotta point out, like, they really, God, they really changed Akane's design. Like, she doesn't look anything like she did in 999. Or, hell, even in, well, Virtue's Last Reward, they, I guess she looks more like her maybe older version of herself, but I mean, originally she had brown hair and brown eyes, I think. Now it's like purple hair and purple eyes. Sorry. It was just one of the possibilities. Junpei. You know, this has been on my mind for a while. But what exactly is he to you, Akane? It's hard to believe that you two just knew each other in grade school. Please tell me you made babies at some point. Junpei. He's very... Yes. He's very important to me. All my life... I've never really had many friends to call my own. That's surprising. I would have taken you as the type guys and girls all fawn over in Japan. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you. But that's not exactly... Junpei always said... I was a girl who always said what shouldn't be said. I never found myself bullied or anything, but it still seemed as if people considered me something of an odd girl. Just because I had superpowers. He told me he'd rush to my aid whenever I was troubled. Once, when we were young, I was crying over something and he faced the enemy alone. He sounds like he's a comic book hero. <laughs> yes. To me he is, at the very least. Go, go, horny jumpy! Do, 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 do. But this past year has completely changed him. Yeah, seriously. It seems to me like he's the exact opposite now. If it was because of me somehow, then this time I need to rush to his aid. Hmm. So, is that the reason why? Is that why Junpei's become so jaded because of the events of the first game? Like immediately after that, he's like, he's like "Oh my God, Akane! Wow, thanks. I, I know you wanted to go out with me, but I think there's a better way to do that. And aside from you know capturing me and uh, and forcing me to participate in a game of life and death." That's what I've decided anyway. You really like Junpei, don't you? What in the world are you saying, Carlos? <laughs> I'm out of my depth when it comes Baka! to romance. My co-workers do always come to me with their stories, though. So I can tell. Just by looking. I can tell if someone's in love. Does that mean there isn't anyone like that for you? That important? Dude, man, come on, Carlos. You gotta be getting all the ladies, bro. There is. I love my little sister very much. She's a sunshine on my life. Oh, oh. so a sister complex. Yeah. <laughs> ha ha, you're horrible. Consider it payback for earlier. Now then. 
Nothing will come from just sitting around here. How about we find a way out? Right. I bet you're eager to see your dearest love as soon as you can. <laughs> oh, Carlos. Oh, Carlos. You silly nugget. What in the hell is that? The plushie is watching you. <laughs> oh, seek way out. Here we go. Now we're getting into it. Oh, I see. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. It's like a fully 3D environment. Can I actually move around or is it just... Just examine stuff. Is it... Oh my god. Wait, is it holding a human arm? Oh, vo these are, oh, these aren't voice acted. Oh, oh good. So I do get to do some... Just a little voice in here. Is that some kind... Is there some kind of blue doll and a right arm? This glass door is locked. A bunch of green blinds are all over, too. It's an haunted blue doll. What seems to be a right arm on the other side of the glass. I'm guessing these buttons are, are how you open the lock. Oh. <laughs> Fail! Boo! <laughs> then it just explodes. Nope. Guess random button press won't work. So what's this stuff supposed to be? I can see a bottle and a card on the other side of the glass. The door's locked. What's with, up with all these pink lines? And that, and then look, they don't really look like arrows in any way. <laughs> Ugh. Door to this freezer is locked. Won't budge. With the correct password in, the door should open. Four digits. Alright, let's give it a shot. I know. Zero, 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 zero. Because, you know, we're captured by zero, right? That's the only thing that makes any sense. Ah, fuck me. Hmm, I wonder if there's going to be anything like the uh, last game where those, like, silver files and the gold files. Well, I didn't get a, I didn't get a chance to choose any kind of difficulty for this, so probably not. What in the world is that? Is that hole really that fascinating? Oh, well, I was just remembering how much fun I had baking as a child. Big heart-shaped cookies full of love for your darling Junpei. <laughs> oh, Carlos, should you stop teasing me? The man-shaped hole in the on and off markers. What could this be? <laughs> let's, let's make cookies. Power seems to be off in this machine. Doesn't the hole in this pan look like a gingerbread man? I wonder what it could be. I, I, don't, and I don't think the plushie would go in there. Oh, hello! Ah, uh, this is a... Oh, oh, look! It, uh, this is where Junpei... This is where he's been the whole time. Junpei, I got your leg! Right leg? Is there trying to scare us with mannequin parts? There's really nothing else aside from the leg in here. Let's keep looking. Really? Is that what that is? It's not a, not a real leg? Why has it got the... Is that just like fake blood they put on there? There's a lot of cans here. But them are labeled. wonder what they hold. Let's see. Okay, another one use there. I'm useful around here. Let's keep looking around. Oh, here we go. The powder plus the water plus the mold makes a cookie. Oh, it's a, a gelatin. A recipe for gelatin. So I have something to draw it out, but it's kind of vague. If there's a recipe, then there's probably ingredients too. Should probably make some and give it to Junpei when you see him. Just say, <laughs> I made it just for you. <laughs> No, I'm not pulling up to say something like that. Oh my god. Dude, are you kidding me? I, I don't know. Candy, you were like crazy bold in 99. Remember you were like always like Remember there's like that one scene where they like come across a bed with Junpei. She's like, no, it's too it's too soon to be making babies now. Junpei's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Let's get naked now! It's too bad. A girl like you is saying that would definitely capture his heart. <laughs> hey, Junpei, even her snag her up. I think Carl's gonna steal her from steal her from you. Oh, what's this? It's round. Maybe it's a knob for a machine? Round part. Round yellow part. It's close, you can see a tiny triangle. Maybe it's a machine part? Oh, L door, R door. Oh, Carlos, those potatoes are cut up, cut up into round pieces. You're right. Time, time to fire up the grill and chow down. Wait, I was thinking, I thought I don't feel much like eating more stuck here. Mmm. <laughs> Needs me some motherfucking tater tots. I thought I'd be able to kick this wood door down. 
Zero wooden luck. Oh. Zero wooden luck is a place that'd be easy to escape from. Let's keep looking. <laughs> you act like you've done this shit before. Oh yeah, I'm all, I'm all about the puzzles, baby. Oh. Oh, it went in his head. Seriously? Yes, the machine powered on. Especially on the panel it must be a power switch. Let's see if we can use it. Uh, okay. Is there anything that could fit in this tiny man-shaped hole? Oh, here we go. Oh, hello there, arm. Oh, this is... Left arm. Pretty sure it's fake. Damn, no use. Locked on the wrist. It's a spot for a key. Maybe there's one around here somewhere. Okay. Oh, I see. That's what the, the thing said. The door. That's what I was referring to. Eek, this is... Left leg? Is there trying to scare us? Oh, it's... Powder to make gelatin. Oh, yummy. Good. Mm. Oh, make me some pudding pops, baby. That looks so real disgusting. Pill zero. Pill zero? Putting something like that in here? Hey, come on. I mean, <laughs> kidnapping us and forcing us to kill each other. That's one thing. But a fucking human leg, that's a whole other thing. Why are the potatoes lined up like this? No, I remember doing a school science experiment with potatoes before. <laughs> Yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there's a torso. God, what is this thing? Is this a torso? Carlos, is this real? How do you think that guy? Is this a realistic fake? You're right, it couldn't be real. It looks pretty fucking real to me. Oh, this is... This is iodine solution. Iodine solution in a bottle. We are being told to get never to put it in any... In, in my mouth. And the more you're not told to do, not to, the more you want to do it. Just try it. I, I was curious, but I knew a boy who did, he did, and he got severely injured as a result. Let me guess, Junpei? Man, that guy. Children is mostly for baking, but has its use every, for cooking, too. Oh, Carlos, I didn't, I didn't know you liked to cook. My mom's the one. I've seen her use it in stew or pasta sometimes. What a nice mother. Oh, I'm a little jealous. It was a long time ago, but the memory is still so clear in my head. Don't potatoes change when iodine solution juice is dropped on them? Oh, they do? Yes, the starch reacts with the iodine and turns purple. Oh. Oh, look, letters appeared. Dud. Dudler. Dudler. Means the experiment was, a, was a successful. Alright, Dudler. Dudler. Reads Dudler. I wonder, wonder what it means. Oh, dear. What about. What about the L door and R door? Uh, is it. It, do I rearrange it and it's supposed to spell, spell something like? Oh 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 no! It's 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 down up down left left right. I see I see. They read from this side to this side, the code to is it the left door, and then read it for, to this way for the code the other door. So, Dudler. Okay, it's uh down up down left left right. Hot dog. Huh? Letters on the potato were in after all. I never would imagine something I learned in grade school would help me now. Yes. Thanks, Iodine. Thanks, Science. You win again. It's a handcuff right arm. Doubt's real, but there's no reason to keep looking at this creepy thing. The arm can't be removed, but we can take the doll. Oh, good. Hey there, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Mr. Meeseeks. There's a, there's a key hole there. We just need a key to unlock it. <laughs> Why do I want the arm? <laughs> I don't really want that. Something on the screen. Oh my god. Holy shit. What am I looking at right now? Oh, it's one of these things. Fuck these things. Oh man, I've Oh, these things can are can be really hard. This shit like fuck me up as it I I I had something like this as like a kid. I had like a game like this, and this shit kind of fucked me up. I was like, "Oh my god, why? What have I done? Why did I choose to play this?" There we are. Never mind. <laughs> okay, that one was considerably easier. Carlos, look the drawer. Let's see what's in, what's in it? Some kind of mold? Oh, I oh okay. So I make it, I make it in this little mold thing before I I put it in the the real one. Okay. I figured I'd just pour the water in what was already in there. All right. So Dudler, now we're gonna do it the other way around. So right L L 
down, up, down. Here we are. So the reaction the iodine test on the potato was the hint for this store. Now we can get the things inside. All right. It's bottled water. Could be useful to stick it with us. All right. Now by my powers combined, water in the mold, gelatin in the water, and uh, is that it? I can't combine these, can I? No. What's that? These instructions? Shows the dots. Is it saying we should heat it up? Heat it up? <laughs> Crib sheet. Uh oh, I see. So if I heat him up, he he becomes happy. Although honestly, doesn't he already look happy? Oh oh, whoops. Oh no, we of course we we cool it. Let's cool this down. Ding! Muffins are ready. Oh, it turns all the way down gelatin. Yes, gelatin. And with this power, I shall put it in the button. Brush and mimic with the gelatin in it. Uh, we heard a sound from below the machine. Wow, gelatin triggered triggered machines. The future is here, and it's beautiful. Look, the door at the bottom opened. All right, cool. Uh, wait, back up. There we go. Hey, hey, that's a key. I wonder what it's for. It's pretty small. Start using on every key we find. Okay. There's the arm here. Does key work on the handcuff? Yes, it worked. Now we get an arm. Sweet. Ah, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Ah, ah, ah. Arm. It's a fake. It's strangely cold. It's in a fist too. Oh, does that mean? No, I don't. I don't really want. I don't think it wants to win at rock paper scissors. Oh, oh, I did. Left hand, left hand doll, plus doll. Left hand plus doll. Doll, huh? These keys for the handcuff? Oh, there we are. Yes, the arm's been freed. Five, two, nine. Things around the palm. Five, two, and a nine? But I'm guessing it's upside down, right? So it's probably six, two, five, right? Because we love fucking doing that shit in these kinds of games. Let's try uh, heating up the, the doll then. Gonna microwave me a doll. Look at that. The, the, the color turned to pale pink. You trapped the fridge so, uh, so, so long its skin turned blue. I feel kind of bad for this little guy now. Oh, poor little guy. Okay, one, two, three, four, plus the, uh, the number down here. Probably six, two, five. I'm just betting. So, all right. 1859. Hot dog. Woo! It's always the upside down number. Left hand plus doll was the hit for the freezer. Guess we only open the cover. We have to, we have, we have another step. Ah, I see. Now I use the arm. This right hand will work. It's clenched to fist. We have to figure out how to open it. Oh. Oh, do I have to, ew, do I have to microwave it? Step, let's try. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to mic me a human hand. Yeah, that sounds like a really smart idea. Jesus, temperature on this thing. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, smells like, smells like Chinese food. Uh, the hand opened. Go warm it soft. <laughs> Maybe this whole gimmick is really gross. <laughs> it's like, it's all slimy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And the hand exploded. All right, we're right. This is the hand we need to authenticate. What's inside? Let's open the door. Behold. Oh! No, no way, you gotta be kidding me! You found it. Oh my god, is that Junpei's head? No! Holy fucking shit, seriously? That actually was Junpei's stuff? What? Dead Junpei! I. I don't think this is fake. Oh my god, we've been using- Oh, it's that fucking axe again! <laughs> then Clover just comes out, it's like, Hey! Hey guys, I'm back! And just mashes Carlos in the head with it. Ooh. Fuck me, Jumpy! Now announcing you... the current casualties. D-Team, Diana, Five, Sigma, C-Team, Junpei. Oh! 
What? Phi, Sigma, and Diana are already dead? What the hell? These four are now deceased. Holy As shit. Result, four X passes will be revealed. Oh, because everything's all out of we don't know what order anything's going in, right? That's why they're these fragments, so. Holy shit! A whole lot of stuff has happened, apparently. Blue, red, milk, jump. That is all. Thank horrible. you. So horrible! Who would do such a thing? This room is locked. So, the one who killed Junpei is... What the hell? Oh, I was like, what the fuck? Damn it! Damn it! Break damn you! Here's Carlos! Uh, uh, Connie? Ah, oh, they fucking played us, those assholes. <laughs> I thought Akane was like, gonna come out and be like, You did this, didn't you, Carlos? Time to chainsaw, motherfuckers! Nope, cause see, see Clover, this is what rational people do. They don't immediately go and murder everybody, alright? Somebody here must have killed my brother! You know, just one person. Might as well kill everybody! Yeah! Die, door! Damn! It's like, there's gotta be some time jumping, right? Because if Jupe's already dead, he wouldn't show up in the Virtue's Last Reward, right? Oh, by the way, you guys pointed this out, and I, I should've noticed this. I, I, I noticed, I, I, I did sort of hear it, but it didn't really make the, the connection, but the reason why Sigma called Junpei Ten Mi he called him Ten Miyoji because that's that's how he remembers him, you know, the old man Junpei. So that's clever. I I, I like that little nod back. <laughs> Damn Junpei, you got fucked up. <laughs> Jumping dead. He died how he lived. Uh, Horny as fuck. Hey. Why? Why? I just don't know anymore. Damn it. Who would have thought this would happen? All I wanted was to get that $500,000. If only I could save her. Just save Maria. That's oh. all I wanted. So his little sister was like sick or something? No. Syndrome? Huh. Oh. For example. Hmm. Oh, I see. That's where he, he heard about that. Say there's a PC with basic low end components. If we played a number of videos all at once on it, what would happen? The processing speed slows down, of course. It's not much better than if the computer had froze. What's happening with your younger sister is similar. So you're saying this isn't carbon monoxide poisoning, but... Right. With Maria, her brain and nervous system seem to be perfectly fine. We couldn't figure out the cause until now. Other patients with the same symptoms began appearing recently. And they have. Reverie Syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. That's why it's called the daydream or reverie syndrome. Oh. There have been no complete recoveries as of yet. However, it seems with the newest medical technology, a few cases have been successful at relieving the symptoms. Then please, you must do the same for her. Does little Maria have insurance? Ah, oh, god dang it. You uh, 
do understand what's required for treatment, yes? It's always about that fucking insurance. If I did, she'll... Maria will... So that means I... I absolutely can't die here. That's why you killed Junpei, isn't it? There's scars on his arm, aren't there? It's like... Oh, what? shit. Oh, god damn it, no! <laughs> no, nope, guess again, Nico! <laughs> Crazy Connie, after all! Oh, fuck me! What did you say? You figured you needed to kill someone to save your sister. And that's why you... Oh, come on, Whoa, Connie. What, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb! Did you forget that you and I are the only ones in this ward? So it's obvious the killer is... Uh, it had to have been you, Carlos. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, uh, Connie, calm down. Calm the dicks calm. down. Stop being. Don't pull a clover on me. I am calm. I am. Oh fuck, he's got his axe too. Oh my god, epic Carlos versus Connie D fight. Let's do it. You're right. I'm the only other one here. But I no, it was definitely you who killed him. Why do we like to jump in explosions? You say that, but then you're the one who really did it. What did you say? You were the one who killed Junpei. And now you're going totally nuts with that chainsaw. I don't believe this. No matter what, even if the world went topsy turvy this very second, I'd Whoa. So, I'm going to be the next one to kill, huh? Well, uh, you are kind of coming at me with a chainsaw, so no, I guess I'll just, I'm just going to let you do that. I'm just going to let you chop me into pieces. Oh. If two more people die, you can return to your darling little sister. Hey, now. Did you kill me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just like, hey, now. Hey, hey, hey. You need to calm down. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, just calm down. Just calm down. Shh. Okay. All right. You're 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 chainsawing my torso. That hurts a little. That hurts just a little bit. A little bit. A lot. A lot. Ah! Your probability of escape is pretty high. Oh! I'm gonna omni slash you. What? Oh god dang it! Why'd you run away? Did you feel too threatened by me with this axe? <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure axe versus chainsaw. Chainsaw always yeah. wins. Think calmly. Think it over again. It's just like any other Code Three. Once ninety minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. So he remembers okay. that. So after we voted at thirteen thirty, we were hit with the anesthetic. Oh, right, 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 because he, okay, interesting, so they, they, uh, they remember, so they keep their memories of the, that time, but that means that, wow, so, <laughs> that's a pretty, uh, target-specific, uh, drug they've got there, target, exactly the memories, like, okay, the, literally the memories you've had of just this one segment are gonna be erased, but not the other things, or so, or something, so, so he still remembers when they voted, but, uh, anything that came after that, which, I mean, had to have, uh, he doesn't remember. We awoke in the pantry after 1800. It's four hours of time that accounted for. Yeah. What was I doing during that time? Was I really sound asleep then, or... I just can't remember what happened because of the drugs I was given. <laughs> Gab, what are you doing over there? He's like, he's over there chewing on Jupe's arm. <laughs> Gab, drop that drop. <laughs> Maybe Akane was right, and I... Oh, uh, fuck. Blackout? No. Akane had run off towards control. It might be possible to turn off the lights there. So oh. she did kill Junpei? And she's coming for me. Well, the lights are still on. The emergency lights are on. Oh, fucking crazy. What do I do, dude? Oh, God. 
Think calmly, rationally. Who is the most threatening person here right now? Whoever it was who killed Junpei. So what I need to do is remove that person. Even if it ends up being me. Oh, what the hell? No! What the hell am I thinking? There's no way it could be me. So then... Then... Ah! There you are! Damn it! I haven't moved since you left! Oh. Just who did it? Oh, what the fuck? Time to decide! Who killed Junpei? What? Maybe Gab did it. <laughs> I don't know. I know Gab. Yes, Gab. <laughs> Gab killed Junpei, cut off his limbs, and put him around, scattered him around the room. But if he'd already cut off his limbs and put him around there, I mean, someone had to have access to the entire facility to, and put his limbs, right? I could just type out a name though, like really, like any name, like that. Do not know identity. Ah, oh, fuck you. Gab! That fucking dog did it! <laughs> How would a dog do? <laughs> That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. I love how it actually actually did that. Uh, what if Junpei... I know, Junpei did it to himself. <laughs> Junpei cut his own head off and all his limbs. The dead cannot kill anyone. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that. All right, what about, uh, I know. Fine, did it. Cannot. Damn it. What if I say, like, not likely to be QT. Ah, I know. How about, it's gotta be Mayor McCheese. The fuck are you talking about? I know. How about the Hamburglar? Absolutely, Hamburglar. Damn it. Fuck, I don't know who could be that. Oh, I know. Bernie, you did it, didn't you? <laughs> what the fuck, Nico? I know you did this. You fucking slammed them all, didn't you? Ah, uh, god dang it. Wait, wait, that voice, I recognize that voice. No, it wasn't Bernie at all. It had to be fucking Donald. <laughs> that little shit. Oh, what the hell, you la- <laughs> Oh my god, have you lost your fucking mind, Sora? I'm just gonna put- wait, what if I put in, like, left or something? No. What about brother? Nope. Just seeing how. What about Maria? Just throwing in names that have other other characters in this game. Nope. I know my my dying little sister did this. <laughs> okay, so I have to choose between Carl, a, a, a Carlos or Akane. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I have no fucking clue. I have no idea who did it. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem likely that Akane would do it, but. Unless it was like an accident, or, but I mean, some, it seems like it had to be somebody who could have taken his parts, gotten a bunch of like handcuffs, and locked him in a bunch it in a freezer. You know, I mean, who who of us would be able to do that? I don't think any of us would be able to do it. Fine, right, I'll say Carlos. I don't know. Choice is made. Looks like I'm gonna have to stab myself. Oh shit. Of course. Akane, she'd never do something like that to Junpei. He's very... Yes, he's very important to me. If that's the case, then I'm... I'm the only one who could have killed him. It might have been a demon possessing me. Or maybe it was some kind of parasite. Or I'm under hypnosis? Whatever it was, I'm... Regardless of the reason, I was the... And then I forgot I did it because of the damn amnesia drug. Ah, oh, fuck me. Carlos? Don't come any closer. I'm dangerous. My body moves against my will. I might kill you next. If that's how it is, then... <gasps> Carlos, no! Oh, ah! shit. Oh! Holy shit! Wow, dude! Did you actually manage to decapitate yourself? That is fucking. T oh my god! Wow, that's a lot of blood coming out. <laughs> Carlos Sprinkler. Oh! Right all over Akane. Dead. Ow! No. 
<laughs> Why did this happen? Because you came at me with the chainsaw. It's all your fault. <sighs> I won't let anyone die. Aw. Carlos! Carlos! Oh, so his, like, his parents died in a fire or something? So that's why he became a firefighter? <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> it's all your stupid fault, Kane. Go back in time. Game over. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that was a. So that was a. One of the bad endings. Carlos's decision. Game over. He killed Junpei. What? So. But there's. Look at this. There still seems to be something that goes beyond that. Oh. Uh, oh. Wow. And so is this gonna be like? Wait, what, so what's this one? What's, what's that mean? Oh, execution results. All teams survived. I see. Okay, so they're... Wow, this is confusing. So there's... So they're fragments. And I, maybe... So I might actually start another fragment later. That will continue after this... This this one, I guess. I think. Okay, so... What if I go back and... I'm gonna go back and choose Akane, then. Fuck her up, Carlos. Slay her. Slay them all. Your choice is made. I still think that dog did it. That's right. Akane. She has to be the one who killed Junpei. Die! Time to duel. Oh. Oh, you done missed. You know what that means. Akane wanted to kill him. I told you. I didn't. I didn't kill him. You know, sort of, I don't know, it's just kind of shocking me that Akane is going so batshit crazy. I mean, I, I get that she care about Junpei and stuff, but, I mean, she's the one who's, like, sort of, like, foreseen all this shit happening. I feel like, shouldn't she have her, shouldn't she be level-headed about all this stuff? Like, she seemed like she was, you know, prepared for whatever the balls was going to go on in here. You know, like, don't forget the bigger picture of the world ending or whatever. Fuck me, dude! You just cut my arm off! Oh! You just got hacked! Dead! Blah. Serves you right, damn it! Ow! Better tourniquet that shit! No, it, why are you jumping to me? I, I died for you in that other timeline. Fuck you! No. I didn't kill. Uh, Junpei. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't uh, avenge you. Akane? I... I just killed... Uh, what? Is that it? That's where it ends? Oh, locked. I am so confused. So, okay. So it seems like everything's gonna be open up in like fragments, and then it seems like though I. It seems almost like I was... That fragment was continuing from a bad ending already, right? 
Oh my god, I fucking no. It's like, what do I do? I should go back to one where, where Junpei still seems to be alive. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay.